this is the mood James Hutchinson is in these days. He is in a robe with his new nice. mother dad. Nice. Oh. I have way too much light on me right now. Still I'm to... still getting like used to my new surroundings. <clears throat> uh, now you have to get about lighting. Before okay, that's... lighting, now you're on on camera. Now you think about lighting. Hi. Yes, your hair's that was way too much for this morning. <laughs> Your hair's cute. Oh, thank you. That that happened last night. So the dog at four in the morning happened, and I haven't slept since. So okay, I was up really early. The dog at four in the morning. Yes. Plant is that plant dad? Oh, how cute is that? Yes. I love that. My new mug. My new mug. I have three new mugs debut this week. Oh, nice. Uh, no, how many dog at four in the morning? Uh, she has super sensitive stomach and she has these bouts with gas. So I hear, I start hearing in the middle of the morning. Um, is my sound okay? I'm getting feedback. On yeah, my getting end. feedback. I love that. I love that you're now, you really are. You're now an on, you are now an on camera producer. I love it. You're like, do I sound different? Do I sound different? You do sound a little bit of feedback. I, th I feel like it's just equity because you're looking at your walls. I don't, I don't know. I See? Think like, seriously, I think it's what it is. No, seriously, I think they always say a lot of times, you, like, I have stuff on my walls. It helps insert the sound. Okay. That's why I soundproof wall. I put things on walls in the studio so, you, so it doesn't bounce. It was that, it, your, your voice is bouncing. That's why you're hearing it. How annoying. <laughs> that's not, that's not annoying. <laughs> <laughs> that's very interesting to see. As it was, see now you're seeing how it is. Like, it's very, I think it's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. you first your says, oh well, I can't change it anymore. Uh -huh. there, you know, I mean, it doesn't sound bad. I'm mean, just, just like, just like you're here. I think it's just, you're, it's just you had, you had your setup. That's your all. I did. That's all. Just, you just not. This is new. I think when you put stuff on your walls and get stuff going, I think it's gonna be a real sound. You'll you'll feel you'll you'll feel better. I think. Okay. <laughs> so tell me something good. What's going on on your side of the world today? Uh, I have nothing good to tell. That's what's so sad. Um, I wish I could. Well, no, let me let me take back. There's always something. Okay, let's see. What can I say? Is that something good? Had a really bad week, so I'm trying to think. What can I say that was good? Um, my birthday's in eight days, and I'm going to Catalina Island, so I guess that's 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 good. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that exchange. Good. I'm looking forward to leave the mainland and go <laughs> to Catalina. Um, I love Catalina Island. It's very relaxing. That's what I'm hoping. Yes, I yeah. asked no one to come with me. I said I don't want no one to come with me. I want oh. to go myself. Okay. Um, I'm tired of people, so I need to go away. I get that. Um, do you have anything fun planned, or are you just going to hibernate? I'm going to play it all by ear because I'm a Taurus, and my life is so scheduled. Yes. So organizer. I said, don't. Okay. My best trips, my best trips literally, my best trips um, have been no itinerary. I mean, if there's a, a few of places I've gone where I was going to meet up with someone, at, maybe or went for an event, like you know, for an event. This was Nick and I used to do this all the time. We were to this at I used to travel all the time. We didn't plan nothing. We would just go, okay, we're gonna be there for four days in Virginia, like Richmond, Virginia, or whatever. Um, and then we'll just see. We'll just we'll just wake up that day and what do you want to do? And we were, right. luckily, and my friend Rissa and I were the same way when we did this this trip to Vancouver. We were the same way. We were actually with good travel partners. Which um, that's that is a big deal, you know. As you yeah. know, like yeah. some, people, some people are great in other situations, just traveling. You're just different. I have friends who like itineraries and everything's like you know, like every inch is planned. Um, unless unless it's like a show or something that you're going to see, I don't need to be planned. I'm like, I just I just want to we'll go to a museum. I just want to go when I feel like it. Let's go to a museum. You know, museums open from this time to this time. I was go when I you know when I want to go. Um, but Marissa and Nick both are the same way, where it was like, let's just wake up and see where the day takes you. And that's the best, that's been the best. It is. It's the best for me. Um, but those out there who I know like to be, have things organized, I understand. I'm an organizer, I get it. 
I get it. No, I get it. Um, but no, I and, and sorry, sorry for the shade, but I get it. But for me, no, I said, yeah, Kenny is a small island. There are no cars. It's just golf carts. I'm gonna get a golf cart and just like tool around. Uh, Wrigley, Wrigley Museum is there. It's this casino live thing is there. It's not an actual casino, of course. It's it's like this monument, and there's all you just walk up on the beach. I mean, I just, I just I think I'm just thinking I'm just gonna hang out um, and decide what the f I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna decide, just decide, um, and I'm hoping the weather's decent. It should be. It should be decent. <laughs> should be, and then I'm taking a, bo a boat. I said I love boats, so yeah. ferry out there if it's not out. So I'm. I'm I am looking forward to May 9th. I just can't even tell you. I'm just like that needs to come tomorrow. Do you want to talk about what's happened this past week? That's well, not funny, so good. Well, it's good, well, no, what's funny is I keep forgetting you're not online. I've been talking about it all week. But I think I'm not, not on, I online. am your one friend who has no social media other than LinkedIn for business purposes. Yes, yeah, no, two friends. No, two friends. And you both okay. as I always have to remember, oh yeah, you don't know what's going on. Nothing. I, I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. You are the universes. smartest person in the world. You are the smartest person in the world for not being on the Insta. So tell me, get me caught up. What's going on? So I had two nervous breakdowns last week. So oh my gosh. Literally, literally, yeah, literally, I fell apart. So, and May, okay, so May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. See, hashtag break the stigma. I just did two shows on that this morning. They're, they're, just, they're out, you wanna see the, uh, my journey, I'll tell you about that, it's, it's on there. Um, but I I think for me, and we talked, we talked stuff on, on this show and other shows, we talked about the stuff that life and stuff goes on, I think, a lot, it's it's a cumulative thing of the last two and a half years. It's all hitting me at once. The not traveling as much, not seeing my kids and grandkids as much. I lost five friends during the pandemic. That I, I mean, I grieved, but I mean, it was like it was a different kind of grieving because I couldn't see them. There was no funeral because the COVID. It was all this weird stuff. So like, it's just it's like I lost a stepdad. I mean, like lost a dog uh, recently. Um, but then I didn't have any, I didn't have, I've been by myself this whole time. I don't have a partner and I want a partner. And I had someone stand me up on a date, uh, which was another thing, my first date in three years, and they stood me up. And so I, I, all this stuff, all this stuff, it's just everything starting to come to a head because it's been such a weird two and a half years for everybody uh, collectively. But for some of us, you know, when you don't have your family, you don't have a partner, you have nobody around you, it's, it's really hard. For, yeah. for those of us and so um and i found that I, I started to crack plus i was working all my now my career you know it's gone beautifully my career is just like i mean i can't i can't complain at all but that's the thing i think because i just kept working and 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 working and, uh, uh, and i always sound like on a hamster wheel i think that collided with the other stuff and i literally had a meltdown on air Goodness. Wasn't pretty. And then um, and then I said, okay, I gotta do something. Luckily, I've done enough work on myself and I have therapy. And I was like, I was like, okay, I need to I need to do something. I need to do something fast. So last week I made a huge announcement and canceled everything. Oh, good canceled, for you. Canceled all That's my a big deal. Can't, you know, no, people are still in shock to this day. They're still in shock. I canceled most of my shows for May, canceled half my clients for May. I said, I don't care about the money. It's not the, it's not the money. It's not anything. I just I said, I just canceled everything. Yeah. And said, I will play things by ear. It is meant it's May is mental health. It's my birth month, mental health month. I need to pull it together. And I was yesterday, I uh, was on a train yesterday. You know, I went from Santa Monica to um to downtown LA. I was like, movie, I was it was a beautiful day in Los Angeles. It was beautiful, beautiful day in Los Angeles. And I was like, let's go outside and try, you know. And it was one of those things where I was trying to be spontaneous. So I was calling each of my friends who live in LA. They're always like, James, we should get together. And so I, every single person could get together. And I was like, it just happened. I mean, I just know that yeah. happens. And it's LA and it just happened. Yeah. But it made me depressed. And I was seeing oh. a train crying. Oh my goodness. I know. As I was riding, I'm like, I'm seeing on a train crying. This is, I never, this is really crazy. So I think, so I think I need to, I'm working, I'm working on stuff to, to get my mental health together. Okay. So, but, but, I, but all this has been, I've talked about all this online. So I'm saying, that's so everybody, everybody else knows what's going on, but because they're all shy. Like, so when you text me, I say, like, 
you normally send me, normally I do, you normally send me, I, but all weekend I made myself not available. I, went, I left the house all weekend. I was like, if I sit right. in the house, it'll make it worse. Um, so I would get out there, go, go outside, get go, go play outside as you do when you were a kid. Go play yes. Outside. Um, I slept, I mean, I slept well, I, mean, I had nightmares last night, but I did sleep pretty well most of the weekend. Because I was, did a lot of walking around, so it was good for my health. So that's something good too, good for my health. I walked yeah. around a lot. Uh, and my first birthday freebie for the month, uh, I got um, a key lime pie from California Peaks Kitchen. It was free. Nice. So I had, it was delicious. So I had that. So. <laughs> but yeah, no, so, you know, as we talk about coffee and conversation and friendship and stuff, your friend's going through some things. And I think, Aww. I'm hoping that this trip begins the process of me coming together. I think I need, leaving town, I said I need to be by myself. Leaving town, I think, will help immensely on some level. Well, yes. I think getting, always stepping away yeah. and going, especially to nature, it's, it's very healing. And I'm still getting that feedback. And I'm sorry, James, but it's driving me nuts. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll just do this one episode then for this for today. I think I think my speakers might also be blown. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound that you don't sound really that much when you hear this. Well, you'll hear some different because it's you, but I don't I don't hear that much difference. I just I just know that you're in a, you have nothing on your you sound like you you sound like you're in a hollowed area a little bit. Okay. But it's not like to me like major fear. I, I would I would stop this recording if like I was getting just like if it was like super annoying for me. Okay. Good. Uh, to me, it's not. But I know. <laughs> I know what you mean because you're in the room. Yeah. Hearing it's it's bouncing off the walls. Your voice bounces off the walls. So does sunlight kind of calm you down, or are you more of a moon child? I'm a day person. Okay. I like being outside, but um, yeah, I'm more of a day person. That's a good question. I'm more of a day person. I'm a day. I'm a day. You know, I like nighttime. I do like nighttime too. Yeah. I'm, I'm a day person. Well, it's funny. So last week, um, our buddy Tony Moore, who's been on the show several times, yeah, um, he debuted his short film. Uh, it's called Kevin. It's been ten years in the making. <laughs> I heard about this thing so long. I'm like, thank you, God, it's out. Um, but he had a small gathering of the cast. I'm the art director on the on the, on the picture, and a couple of friends. It's like, just really, just really small at a rooftop deck in West Hollywood. And I had been, it's, it's like my third event in three years, but everybody started to come out. It was, just, it was a beautiful day. It was, beautiful, even it was six o'clock at night, it was still beautiful. And I, I was like on this rooftop with the fire pit going, you could see all of Los Angeles. And I was like, and it was nighttime, so it was lit up. It was busy too. People were just like, I guess there was no pandemic. They were just back to normal. Um, Los, uh, uh, Santa Monica Boulevard and La Brea were both very packed. Um, but it was just like, it almost felt good for a second. I got a moment of goodness. I feel like this, this reminds me of the old days. Um, I was very proud of Tony. It's the film's called Kevin. It's 10 minutes long. And it's a silent film. Oh, cool. Very interesting. The way it ends, you're like, what? Um, and I'm very proud of him. I mean, he's been my, one of my closest friends for seven years. And I'm in this business because of him. Uh, so to see him do something that he was so nervous about. And then I ran to a friend who's my birthday twin. I have not seen her in three years. Her name's Courtney Stewart. Uh, it's just James Lodge. You know, like Courtney Stewart, my birthday twin. And we got, so we got a chance to, and so I think I needed that. That was the first thing I needed that to happen. And then my other best friend, Michelle, uh, I've known her 28 years from San Francisco. Uh, her wedding anniversary, I was her man of honor. I stood up for her. Uh, it was 16 years ago this week. We were like 16 years ago. We got, you got married. Um, and it was a big thing about me standing up for her because I was a guy. Yeah, um, and, I, and, I, and she was like, "I don't care." James is my best friend, and she, we had a bridesmaid with us, which goes, "I'm closer to James than I am to her." I'm not gonna just because she's a woman. I'm not gonna make her my maid of my well. She was, would have been she would maid of honor. I mean, yeah, maid of honor. She goes, "Yeah, I have some. I have some female friends, but I'm the closest to James. Like I really am." And Renee both they were like, "We're the closest to James." So I just made everybody was like, "It makes sense with James." Our friends set. Even the girls weren't even upset. They like knew, like, yeah, but it was my back then. Apparently, now it's getting more common. Back then, they're like. Well, what do you even call him? And he's like, and I was like, he's like a bride's man or whatever. I was like, no, I said, I'll be her man of honor. Yeah. So, you know, so that'll thing. him. So then you know, I, I'm going to post a picture soon. I'll send you a picture. It's funny. It was like, we got married. I was like, you guys are like, you got married. Cause we're like, 
you know, whatever. We I have matching tie and everything. But I mean, I went to, I went with her to for the dress shopping. I mean, I did. I mean, that was I literally was the one. You know, I gave her a bachelorette party. I mean, the whole thing. I was like that was my job. Had a good time. Um, but anyway, so that's so like I talked to her for three hours. We haven't talked in a while. It's a mess in San Francisco right now, so I feel bad from up there. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, I was got to talk to her for a while. We caught up and everything. And she's part of that group that we lost all these friends the last couple of years. She's part of that same group. So I got to commiserate with her. So little bits and pieces of little things. And Flobito's been good. No Flobo, we know Flobo, friend of the show. That has been encouraged, trying to encourage me here and there. So, you know, we try it. I feel like some old hag half the time. He's like, no, you're not. You're beautiful inside and out. You're great. You know, he says, he says nice things to me. Give me, give me out of it. <laughs> you know, it's interesting because I think mental health is a great subject. Some of us are so willing to open and be honest about it, but so many other folks, they're just not. It's this shameful thing. And it's funny because people who see you or glimpses of you would never think that you have depression, that you um, have sadness, you know, that you have self-doubts. I mean, no one would ever see you and think that. Nope. So I think it's important for personalities like yours that are so outgoing and gregarious and funny and sweet and supportive that you're talking and sharing because... Uh, people just don't connect with you on that level because you're not doom and kind of, you know, so I think it's really um, healthy for everybody to hear your story. Um, so thank you for sharing. And I'm so sorry yeah. that you're sad right now. Yeah. I know you're, you're you, what you said is, is, is completely right. My friend Sebastian was the one years ago was like, James, you're the right person for the job, so to speak, because I am this very positive. I, I mean, I mean, and the thing is, I am a positive person. I work very hard. I'm support other things you said I am all those things, but you know, we have our own stuff. You know, sometimes, you know, the totally. strong ones, as you know how this is too, we don't check on them because they're okay. Right. And I, have, I have aging parents right now, so I'm in I'm entering that space. Mm-hmm. Also, and then I have my grandson just turned 22 the other day. And so I'm entering, I'm helping him out. So I'm like, I'm part of they call the sandwich generation. So I'm part of that where I have grown kids now I'm getting grown grandkids I have aging parents on this side I'm trying to navigate that at the same time those are all unpredictable those are all right. things you can't even and highly emotional uh, too highly emotional yes but you can't even predict what's going to happen you can't even go I'll see you Tuesday and Wednesday like no it may be in five minutes you, you know you know how that is yes I have that yeah. going on and then I have my businesses I'm running so I'm trying to have my life and have my own life and I always I just made I, I made them laugh I said you know, I'm not, I'm not, um, they would say it's lonely at the top. I go, well, I'm, I'm lonely in the middle. I'm not at the top yet. I'm in the middle somewhere. So I'm lonely in the middle. I said, so that's, and that's the thing. It's like all this stuff I'm doing is great, but then I have no one to come home to and I do everything myself. And so last year, I did tell I was getting groceries and I, I know how I, I can carry 10 bags in these hands. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I can, and, that, and a coffee and talking on the phone at the same time. Um, and they're like, hi. I said, no, because I said, because ask any single person, and it was in big cities. You learn how to do that. Yeah. This weird thing. As I came from San Francisco, I was on, I was on BART all the time. I had to carry groceries and a backpack and, you know, and, and whatever. And eat at the same time between jobs. You know, I said, you just, you just learn how to do that. So, and so can I help you with that? I have to stop it and go, yeah, I will take help. Like, I'm so used to, I'm so used to just mm-hmm. automatically. I'm sure it's what probably housewives feel and mothers. So like, we just we're used to doing every, just used to doing everything. You just do it because you just do it. And if someone says, can I help you? You're like, help me, help me. So I had that a couple times. So we like, James, can I help you with the, your girl? I'm like, no, I got it. I'm like, oh no, actually, I, you could help me. Yeah, you take that one. Take that bag. Um, so I'm used to everything myself. So I took, well, I'm lonely in the middle. I should write a song about that. I'm lonely in the middle. Um, give me a title. I feel like it's a title of a song. It's lonely in the middle. Ooh, maybe I'll write that down. So you never know, Melissa. You never know what will inspire you to yes. do great things. Yes. So, yeah. So I'm sorry. I'm sad too. Um, and I don't, I don't like it. No, don't be sorry about it. You know, we talk about it. Um, so like, it's, it's a sorry, sorry. You're not supposed to be sorry. These are feelings are human emotions. You know, I'm, I'm, I rolled in today with bags under my eyes. My sound isn't working. 
I've got a sick kind of puppy downstairs and I rolled in here going like, this is my yes. checkout from my realities of everything that, and they're small realities, but honestly, my connection with, with Kima is real. And she's like my baby. So when she's not feeling well, it kind of wears on me a little bit. So, and I don't get up at four o'clock for anything but golf or the dog. I mean, that's it. Golf or chemo. Get me up at four in the morning. <laughs> You're like, not even less. You're like, not even less. No. But then, you know, like, oh, honey, I'm going, I'm rolling over. <laughs> it's so funny. No, I get it. I just was saying, we talked about this the last couple of times we were talking. Animals are, people who are not animal people, I totally get it. They don't get it. They really don't. Some do, but most of them just don't really get it. Animals are really a part of your life. They really are. It's insidious. They come in and they're in. They're in. They're in. Sometimes you don't like, even like them, but they're like, there. Right. All the time. Right. And so they're in. And they, yeah. need, you. they need you for stuff. They just, they just need you for stuff. Yes. Um, and that's just kind of like, that's why I said I love it. I, I, so my, my parents are trying to find a dog, trying to find another one. They're very hard. I saw the picture you posted. Yeah. I, I know. So they're trying to, so they're trying to find dogs, trying to find them, but it's been very, but it's very hard. It, it's um, so many shelters. Uh, well, there's one shelter she went to. <laughs> they have pigeons. pigeons. I, was, I was gonna buy a pigeon. I'm not buying a pigeon. They're gross. Um, sorry, they're scavengers <laughs> in the sky or whatever. I'm like, I'm not a fan of pigeons. But they have guinea pigs. They had a rabbit. No. I wanted rat. I used to have rabbits, but now I got a garden. They'll eat everything in my garden. They're like gophers, they eat everything. Um, then they had um, Eddie goats, which I really wanted. I really wanted the goats so bad. And they had one rooster. I wanted the rooster. But... Your neighbors would hate you. They would totally hate me. They would totally hate me. Like, that's the only reason why I would want to get it, just so they can hate me. <laughs> um, especially the the leaf blower across the way. I want to just house it, just make, wake up at six in the morning every morning. Yeah. Um, but uh, they were looking, and so they don't want a big dog. That's the whole thing. They want another mm -hmm. small dog. They don't want a puppy. Cause they're too old for that but they also there's one daughter like she's 15 years old well she's on her way out we're not gonna get another dog that i mean i mean poor thing it's like but it's like no it's not gonna work either so they're trying to find the rights like i said five you know four or five six years old that's good age for them yeah. they'd, rather, they'd rather have a house broken but if not they'll do it them. they have pads they'll do it themselves yeah but baby but babies as you know that's a lot yeah. of work. puppies are a lot of work yeah i've talked openly I, about my puppy experience with yes. Pima. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know that I would do that again. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's no wonder I didn't have children, James. <laughs> I see why you because know, it's, it's, they're exactly they're like children. It's crazy. I'm, like, I'm not buying diapers for a dog. I'm not doing. I'm not doing. I crap my guy. No girl, it's fine. So we're trying to find one. Um, because we're because we're shop people. We're, we're adopt not shop people. So we're trying to rescue them. So we're trying we're trying to find them. So we're looking around. They went to four or five different places. So of them, you have to make appointments. Uh, one was online. You have to look online at the pictures. So, but, she goes, but she goes, that's kind of weird because I want to actually interact with the, the animals, see if they yeah. take to us or not. Last, the last oh. one went straight to Moses. It was so funny. Jerry went straight to Moses, and it was like, take me, and that was it. Was, okay, you're it. You're it. Um, you know, Scrabble came to me, and that was it. Like it's it. You know, that kind of thing. So it's just kind of it's one of those kind of things we want to want to interact with them, see if there's a if there's a chemistry like that's Absolutely. Not, like a person. So yeah. it's a tough search. It's not that many shelters here in LA, so there's not just not that many. And we have a couple in the valley that are pretty good. We had heard that, so my mother said that's the next thing. My mother like going out to the valley. Yeah. So that's yeah, come point. on out. They've got um, <laughs> they have one in my backyard actually. And in uh, Chatsworth. Chatsworth. Uh, West Valley Animal Shelter, and they've got one in I think San Fernando. I as well. Like I feel like I went to one with my friend um, Cameron Lewis years ago. Because he was out in the, he lived out in Studio City, but I feel like we went to one out there somewhere. Yeah, East Valley probably. Yeah, an animal shelter. He's mm -hmm. trying to find an animal too. And I was like, oh, the dog. I wanted I wanted every I wanted everybody. You can all come home with me. Everybody just come home with me. We'll it's be in the backyard. It's, it's, I can't I can't do it sometimes because it just it's just I mean, and some of them just look at you like please come get me. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. When I, was, yeah. when I was living with Nick, we had like three cats, four cats, and I was like, we were just rescuing cats. I'm like, we gotta stop. It's crazy. And we're not, we weren't those cats. I want to make a, a caveat to that. We weren't those cat people who let them roam on the counters and stuff. No, we don't do all that. I have a sister who does that. I'm like, I'll eat her house. You know, 
cats are on the counters, walking on the stove. No, we don't do that. Your ass on the floor, on the bed, on the couch. We don't, we don't do no. We don't do no. You just walk wherever you want to. No, we don't do that. Yeah. How about the dining table? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I'm not a fan of what I eat. No, I don't want cat hair in my food. Uh, but but they can roam any, anywhere else. I don't care about cat hair anywhere else. But, but I know, like, I have friends who like dogs in beds. I love dogs in beds. I never had a oh, friend. Absolutely. My yeah. friend's like, that's, that's a lie. You can't have in bed. I'm like, but you're all in, I mean, you know. Well, that's actually, um, some of the best advice that we got with the Husky breed is that um, because they're so pack driven, all dogs are pack driven, but the Husky is really super bonded, um, high, strong, emotional animals. As they said, just bring them, let her sleep in your bed and she will bond with you like you're a pack animal. We can't get her out of the bed. Like, you know, she, once she, that overnight, that first experience overnight happened for her. She's, she's forever going to sleep in the bed. The problem was when she was a puppy, she was like, you know, 12 pounds. She's 60 plus pounds now, James. <laughs> that's, a big, that's a big girl. We have a California king. She's still an obstruction for me to like, kind of like move around at, during the night when I'm trying to get into a comfortable position. I have to navigate Pima. <laughs> I like that. That's, I mean, I, I, we, uh, my own friend, my friend Michelle lived with her for a while. She had Thor, and Thor was a chocolate lab. Oh, you know, yeah. He was so cute. And he gave me with this, and I cuddled with him. He was like, You're like a man. I'm going to hold on to you. Um, and he was long. And then now he got older, he couldn't get in the bed anymore. Bed was too high for him. We had, a, we had what he called an Eastern King. So I think the difference mm -hmm. is that it's wider. Yes, and shorter. Shorter. And yeah. so, um, and so we, and so we all fit in that bed. We all in the same bed. It was funny. And, and Thor, I was hanging on him. Like, but then he couldn't get up there anymore. His knees got bad. So he was like, looking like, can't get to bed. I'm like, I wish I could. I, I can't lift you. Um, they get heavy after a while, big dogs. They do. They do. Oh, it was like crazy. But yeah, animals are great. Animals are great therapy. And I'm looking at that. I'm looking at that too. Looking at maybe, maybe it's time for me to get another dog. Maybe it's time for me. Oh. Thinking about it. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, maybe it's time for me to get one to get something, get some kind of, or a pig or something. I don't know. Get a companion. Oh, <laughs> I, if I got a pig, um, uh, what is your name, Melissa? If I got a pig, I was going to name it Sizzleine. And you get the rest. What? Sizzleine. Oh my God, that's so mean. You get the you get the reference back in the day. That's so mean. Of course, I love bacon. In fact, I'm making BLTs with avocado tonight. So yeah, I get the I get the reference. <laughs> Wait, you found avocados? They're so expensive these days. It's avocados. I so know, but yeah. but Ralph's had them on sale for ninety seven cents each. Oh my god, that's good. I know, so I grabbed three of them. Yeah, I, I would too. Yeah, I, yeah. I know the avocado shorts until recently. They're like James, there's avocado shorts. I have a tree in the backyard. It's not fruiting yet, but I was like, oh, I didn't know it was an avocado shortage. I had no idea. And we're in a drought. We're in a drought again too. I didn't know that either. I realized that either. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to come, they're going to, um, LA is, well, California in total, we we're reading yeah. that they're going to have water restrictions. Well, I have job tolerant plants for the most part, so I think I should be okay. I, got I think you can water plant. once a week, James, or there's a total usage cap yeah. for the household, one or the other. But yeah, we're going to go, we're going to get pretty strict here pretty quick. Yeah, no, I, I, should, I should be okay. I said my stuff, most of my stuff is self-sufficient, it's fine. But I, 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 I planted during the drought. Yeah, I was very much. I was. Like, I was told which plants to get, which ones, which ones thrive, and so I have a lot of succulents. And I think about people don't and little side tip, folks who don't you know because I am plant dad. Um, many succulents flower, so you, you so these people think, oh, they're boring. It's like, like no, actually, some beautiful flowers come out of the succulents. So again, you'll need a lot of water. They just naturally will do their stuff. So, and, and rose bushes are pretty healthy. They, they're resilient. I have a lot of rose bushes. There's times I rarely water them and they still grow, rose, flower, still flower. So they rose, I don't know. They arose, um, they still flower. So there's little tips for you guys. And that's, that's my other show, a lot of, so, I'll be so James Law Jr. You can get more tips on there. But I, but I, that's, that's something I, I'm like very happy that I, did it during the drought so that I'm prepared for, I have a couple of plants that do need water on a regular basis and that's fine. 
I can handle. I, I mean, I, I individually plant. I individually water them. So yeah. I have no sprinklers. I don't do any of that stuff anymore. We stopped that a long time ago. And my brother used to water a lawn. And we got to stop that. During Joey, had to stop that, too. You know? Yeah, I mean, uh, landscapers had to transition from greenery to shrubbery and rock and succulents. And, yeah. yeah it's a whole I mean, art form. I mean, some of them, I, I look at I look at people's yards every day. And I'm driving around, I'm looking at everybody's yards. Um, but there's some, I'm... I don't like the rocks just because they, it's always like a rock comes out of there onto the pathway and you step on it. Yes. It's always like one, a rock, it's like, like one or two rocks come out. Um, I don't mind the, um, the, the, the reddish burgundy stuff. They're not rocks, but I don't, I, I can't think of, it's not. Oh, um, yeah, they're wood chips. Wood chips. I don't, I, the, some of those are really pretty. When I do a certain way, I'm gonna pattern. <laughs> Um, like those, um, I, I, I want to get fake grass is what I want to get for my front yard. My front yard is too big. The grass is not coming in. Um, and so I'm looking into that. My mother has, she has good grass. She has that St. Augustine grass, all springy and bouncy, but she has a small front yard. It was expensive, but it's just small. My place is too big. So I'm like, they have fake grass that looks real. Mm -hmm. They've gotten way better at it. They've gotten way better at it. I have a client, a client. Oh, she has, a, she has a client. Oh, yeah, she's a client. Um, she has it and I, in her front. And I was like, what's that? She's like, yes, because I, I almost forget to not have to, I don't have to uh, mow the lawn because it looks it looks so real. They did, yeah. I, said, I, looked, I was like, this is really amazing. And she showed me underneath and how, and I was like, wow, well, okay. So I want to look into that. I like the next project. Yeah, I, I mean, I, it's always a project. But when you have a garden, I want to get a shed. I really did want to get some chickens, but I'm not going to do it. I want to. I deal with my own eggs. I do. I want to so bad. Oh, they're so, they're the best. Those I know. Like chicken eggs. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. I had a farm like Elsinore. I used to go there all the time and pick and get the eggs. Um, and I want to build a stage in my backyard so I can have outdoor venue. It'll be the lot stadium. You know, I got all this room. Lot stadium. <laughs> I love it. I think so we can perform. I already have microphones and everything back there. I got microphones there. They got all the lighting. Mm -hmm. So I think I want to do something on stage where it's outside. You're not my house. Mm -hmm. uh, my backyard. I, want to get, I have a whole um, gray brick, little ugly wall. I want to get that. I want to have it muraled. Oh, so I've talked to a couple of muralists. Um, we're trying to get some ideas of what I, I don't know what I want exactly, but I want to make it into a mural. And it's, it's, I don't like the way it looks. Like, it's just more, it's boring. I have one half of my yard is beautiful with the bougainvillea growing and everything's beautiful. Mm -hmm. The other side is just like, eh, I got a prison. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't look at that. Prison yard. Prison, like prison yard. Oh, look at that. It's just gray there. I'm like, ugh. So, now always a project. They go, always a project. I have some trees that are bent. I got to lift them up and put some stakes in there. So, I always got projects in the, in the garden. Right now, it's overcast here in LA, down here. So, it's not pretty outside at all. Yeah, it was overcast in the valley, but the sun is. Kind of breaking through right now, so, so it'll, it'll come to us. We have the marine layer; it's not by the water. I know you do. I love the marine layer. I'm very far away from the marine layer. Yeah, I always like the marine layer. So I always have the fog and marine layer down here. It's like I'm looking at it right now. It looks like it looks like winter over here. I know, I know. But it was funny. It did that yesterday. I left. I went to my mom's house. Said I left the house with the Target at eight o'clock in the morning. Got there. I had to buy some bins for my mom. And then I went to her house at nine. I was there for like an hour. I'm, I can be in Target for like two hours. So I don't know yeah. what I bought. And I got out and it was hot. It all burned off. I was like, I was wearing a jacket and sweats. So I'm, like, I'm like, now I'm sweating. Like, this is crazy. I said, I should have known. I should have looked, look, you have to look at your weather, yeah. the hour, and then you can say, yes, you dress accordingly. Yeah. I forgot that yesterday. Damn. Oh. That was hot yesterday. <laughs> like, oh. It was, it was too hot, but it was totally like this in the morning. It was, it was cold, I mean, I had a little cold. Like, oh, I put my jacket on. Mm -hmm. Then I had all this hair. Is it, it's, I in know. A point, it's in a ponytail. It's the front. I saw part. the ponytail. It's, it's actually, you can't see it there, but it's in a ponytail. I got another, I could do a unicorn ponytail. You can't. <laughs> I've done it. They're like, what are you doing? They're like, I got a unicorn ponytail. So I just, I just there you go. There it is. There it is. Well, unicorns do exist. I know. <laughs> 
my hair is, look at how long my hair, my hair is so it's long. It's so long. So I don't know what I'm doing with it. <laughs> well, you don't have to. That's the beautiful thing. It's so, like we've talked about before, it's so healthy. You could wear it any way you wanted to wear it. Yeah. And I got to make my appointment for my, um, my, my tattoo. Everybody's waiting. I got to make my appointment. Yeah. That, and you're not talking about it, right? So. No, I'm going to tell people, I'm going to tell people uh, what it's going to be or anything. Some people know I'm going to do a tattoo, but they watch the show. We talked about yeah. it. Yeah. But I told Floyd, you have to come on the show after I do it. So he said, okay. So I'm going to, I got to make the appointment. I'm going to try to make the appointment today. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm like, but excited, but I'm nervous. But when is the day? Have you made the appointment yet? I got to make it today. I got to make it today. It's now it's May. So now it's May for it's May 2nd. So now I got to Right. So you can do it now. It's your birthday month. Yeah. I was like, I can't believe it. It's, like, it's, it's so fast. It literally is this month. It's, it's, it's so fast. Can't even. We're already almost halfway through the year. I know. It's crazy. Crazy. My birthday is July 1st, and I'm yeah. trying to mentally prepare. <laughs> it's coming. For, I mean, literally, literally and it will be coming. here before I know it. Well, I know I said when I when I go out of town, I'll be gone for four or five days. When I get back, it will be mid-May. Yeah. Well, Mother's Day's yeah. next week. My mother's like, Mother's Day's next Sunday. I go, yes, yeah, next Sunday. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No, we had a week in between. I go, no, no, this is May 2nd. Now it's the eighth. And he's like, we gotta do something. I go, I guess we do something. I, was, I just I said I have Sunday off now. So I mean, I don't know, but like I just I'm like, I knew I was gonna come by and bring you up something. And but I always get her cute cards, like cute cards, whatever. Um, she has enough stuff already. I don't need to give her anything else um, in her house. So she likes cards and she likes mugs like I do. I find, I find fun mugs. Um, but um, I was like, this is this weekend. She's like, oh, I said, yeah, I'm leaving hopefully next week. All goes well. That's the plan, Stan. That is the plan. Nice. Folks, so uh, this is Coffee and Conversation. I'm James. And I'm Melissa. With her or her feedback, and oh, sorry, you know, she's gonna work on it. She's gonna try. We're good. We have a few more weeks before we get back together again. She's gonna totally. work. Totally. Put stuff on your walls. We can follow us everywhere, and we have a new episode out as we're talking out today. That's doing very well already. I looked, I looked at the numbers. I'm like, I didn't promote it yet. Things get some good numbers. It's doing better numbers than, than our other episodes. I don't know what we. I guess because we talk about dogs and everything. Um, but anyway, so that's so that's out today. So every Monday we have an episode that comes out, and it's out now um, on any streaming service platform and on YouTube on my network, JLJ Media. That's right, JLJ Media on YouTube. Subscribe, like, comment, share, talk about it, have a conversation, have some coffee, and we'll see you.